Hey guys, welcome to my studio and thank you so much for watching this episode. In today's episode, I wanted to cover a little bit about the ratio between water and paint. So something I've noticed among my students, uh, it's the most common mistake actually, using too much water with the paint. So I came up with this terminology to explain things better. So I say often water-like ratio, milk-like ratio, half and half-like ratio, or heavy cream-like ratio. So unless you're my student, you probably won't know this terminology at all. So water-like ratio means I diluted the paint with water like to a consistency of that water-like ratio, so it feels like water. And then when I go to milk-like ratio, just think of milk. And then half and half, the same thing. Think of the creamer for your coffee. And then when I use heavy cream-like ratio, that means I use way less water mixed with that paint. It is important to understand those ratios because there's a difference between painting wet on dry and then wet on wet. With wet on dry, you do not need the paint to be that concentrated, uh, so you need more water with the paint. And uh, when you paint wet on dry, you don't pre-wet the surface of the paper. So you basically just grab some paint with that water and then you start painting on the paper. So no pre-wetting the paper, right? And when I paint wet on dry, that's when I use water-like ratio or the paint is even more diluted with water or milk-like ratio at the most. I don't go any farther than that because then it becomes too thick and the paint doesn't look good on the paper. With wet on dry, you do not need the paint to be that concentrated, uh, so you need more water with the paint. And uh, when you paint wet on dry, you don't pre-wet the surface of the paper. So you basically just grab some paint with that water and then you start painting on the paper. So no pre-wetting the paper, right? And when I paint wet on dry, that's when I use water-like ratio or the paint is even more diluted with water or milk-like ratio at the most. I don't go any farther than that because then it becomes too thick and the paint doesn't look good on the paper. Now, when you paint wet on dry, this can quickly switch to wet on wet. So let's say you're painting an apple wet on dry. So you added some color, but on top of that you're adding a little more color. That becomes wet on wet. So you need to change the ratio that you're using unless you just don't want to have any control. But I'm guessing you do want to have control over what you're doing, over that wet surface of the paper. That's when you need to go with either half and half like ratio or heavy cream like ratio. And then when you paint wet on wet, the same thing, you wet the paper first and then you start applying colors wet on wet. So the paper is wet. If you go with water like ratio or milk like ratio, the paint will spread. You won't have much control at all, especially if you're using paints that spread very fast. So let's say you're trying to paint a tree wet on wet and you're using a ratio of water-like ratio. That means there will be no tree after like two minutes because all the colors will just spread. But if you use heavy cream-like ratio, you will have a lot of control because the paint will still spread, but you will be able to see that tree in there and the tree will look like it's out of focus. Using the correct ratio, like heavy cream-like ratio or half and half-like ratio over the wet surface of the paper isn't enough. It's also a matter of how you wet it, the paper. If there's too much water on the top of the paper, so it's like a puddle of water just sitting on top of the paper, the paint will still spread even if you're using heavy cream-like ratio. So it's a combination of both. And then of course, on a side note, it's a matter of what colors, pigment you're using, and then paper, that's also important. But generally, as long as you don't have like that puddle of water sitting on top of the paper, so you wet it correctly, and then you use that heavy cream-like ratio, then you will be able to control what you're doing on the watercolor paper. So thank you so much guys for watching and I really hope this uh, quick video helped you a bit and please let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks guys!